that I'm at an all time. YouTube, what is going on? Benner Dunder here today, coming at you guys with a little Q&A today, a little question and answer video. So a couple of weeks back, I posted on Facebook, you know, gonna do a Q&A. I think I posted this on Twitter as well. You know, gonna do a Q&A. Get at your boy with some questions. But anyway, I uh, got some questions back. Long time coming to do this video. Just haven't gotten around to it. Other stuff planned, things like that. Things going on with life and video uploads and things came up. But anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So, let me get some questions going here. Okay, so, first question. Jackie asks, if you had the chance to talk to someone... If you had the chance to talk to someone famous, what would you ask them? History or... History or present? So, to answer this question, Jackie, without a doubt, I would ask probably Optic Nadeshot, or I guess now he's just Nadeshot, I would ask him, which was more difficult, getting big in YouTube or getting big in competitive Call of Duty? These are two things that are very, very, very much a part of my life, uh, big parts right now especially. Um, I don't know, like, it's hard to get big on YouTube because there's so many people out there uh, you know, so many people, like I said, so many people out there, a lot of people doing the same kind of things, you know, it's hard to find something that really, I don't know, I, I'm trying to think of how to explain this, that really differentiates you from other people, what, trying to find something that makes a difference between your channel, their channel, something that makes you, you unique, that gives you a, re that gives people a reason to watch you and not them. Um, as far as competitive, I mean, it's, it's actually growing quite a bit competitive Call of Duty. There's a lot more people playing and stuff like that. Mm. Excuse me. But anyway, yeah, growing really big and stuff. But the difficulty with that is that it takes hours and hours of grinding every day. You have to find not only you, ha not only you have to be good, but your team has to be really good as well. But anyway, that's kind of that's kind of my answer to that question. But anyway, let's move on to the next one, shall we? All right, guys. So the next question comes from Andrew. Why is Keegan Reynolds majoring in music? Well, I really only have one answer to this. He is the most fantastic air guitar player in the world. Like, you know, middle school dances back in the day, you know, he would, during the slow dancing songs, you know, I mean, he, he would just, you know, cruise around with his air guitar, you know, making people feel awkward. He's a stand-up quality guy, you know, with his air guitar and stuff. That is probably why he's majoring in music, either that or his fire beats. By his mixtape, that's coming out in June. Next question comes from Lucas asks, what other animal should wear makeup? This is a fantastic question. Um, I don't really know. That's my answer. Alright guys, to close out this video, we have two questions from Ryan. Ryan asks, if you could change one thing in history, what would it be? And his other question is, what is your favorite movie of all time and why? So first, we're going to tackle the movie question. My favorite movie of all time is Southpaw. Uh, first of all, I'm a gigantic Jake Gyllenhaal fan. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's the reason why I watched it. Also, the trailers were pretty fire. But anyway... The reason I liked the movie so much and it became my favorite of all time was because it tackles a lot of uh, real, uh, I mean, the, the setting isn't really exactly a, a common everyday setting, you know, the guy's a world-class boxer, um, picture the Conor McGregor of boxing, basically. Uh, anyway, so the movie, I guess I'll give you guys a bit of a background on the movie. The movie is about, you know, this boxer who, uh, his wife dies, who, his wife was murdered, actually, and then he loses his daughter, and, you know, just kind of spirals downhill, and it's the story of, you know, him trying to not only get back into, uh, the, I guess, World League of Boxing, you know, but also, uh, more importantly, you know, get his, uh, daughter back and stuff like that, so it's a really, really good movie, uh, really powerful. Jake Gyllenhaal does a fantastic job in it, but it tackles a lot of, uh, a lot of real everyday kind of things that go on, you know, like the highs and lows of life and, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, just work your way through life and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a really good movie. Um, really sad, really, uh, just, just go watch it. Anyway, and to answer the next question, if I could go back and change one event in history, what would it be? For those of you guys who know me, 
You guys already know what it is, but anyway, um, I don't even need to explain this. I'm just going to throw it on screen right now. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this question and answer, this Q&A video. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed and if you want to see more Q&A videos. If you're new, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, you know, hit refresh up top, give it another chance. And as always, this has been your boy Dunder and YouTube. We'll see you next time.